Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. That's Xander. I'm Michael. I'm Kendall. And today for you, we have a way overdue box. This is like spooky box number four, I think. Spooky four. Spooky something. It'll be in the thumbnail. Um, most people know what's in this box, but we did buy it. I want to unbox it. I want to see what we got. You don't even have to cut it. Yeah, there's still tape, babe. Man, I was like, how cool. Like, it's just ready to go. Now we just got freaking paper. Anyway, all right. Okay, stop. You can still do it. You don't have to use a knife. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, this box is $250 plus shipping. I think the general consensus from the mystery box bunker was that people felt like that about this box. They weren't happy with it. I'll give you guys my take on it. We'll see how I feel. Um, I do know what's in here. Kendall doesn't know what's in here. I do know what's in here. I've actually already, I think, sold one of the items in here. So I feel bad because we just haven't recorded it. Sorry, Chris. Other Chris. Um, anyway. All right. So we have... We have a rolled poster. I don't remember people getting a rolled poster. Just do it. We have a rolled poster. All right, here, you do this mask because you're gonna like this mask even though we're not gonna keep it. American Horror Story. Oh, it's our little chick. We have yeah. her ear. We have her ear. We have her autograph on a, pic on a picture as well. Yeah. It smells good. Oh, there's a cert card. So it is a uh, official. It's not bad. Like, no, this is a nice. Wise, this is a nice, nice mask. Full pepper mask. Uh, um, this is a Trick or Treat Studios official mask. <laughs> well, that is terrifying. <laughs> That's not good. This is not good. This is what nightmares are made of. <laughs> just... <laughs> that is not. He's like, whoa. Um, so this is a official Trick or Treat Studios, uh, and she wrote on here, Pepper, she does a lot of stuff on the mask. This will be available, just because we are not mask people. <laughs> so we are not mask people, so, um, we already have her autograph on two different things. I don't need the mask, this will be available. Hit us up if you need a, a, a really nice quality mask. It is nice. Beckett, Beckett authenticated. And the, because of the way the hair is, it's not something that's going to get all like jumbled up like other masks. Yeah, the hair is interesting because it's like just wrapped around the mask. It's a really well-made mask, I think. I'm happy about that. <laughs> all right, then we have a Funko Pop and we have a... A picture here. We'll go to the picture next. Picture is. Oh, hey, mm. Mark Holton Gacy. That's cool. Um, we actually got this in a box. Is that out yet? From I think it is. We actually got this in another box, but I don't think that that one. This one's Beckett. I don't think that one was Beckett. Um, so this this is actually a keeper for us, I think. Because I like Mark Holton, um, and uh, I want to watch this movie. Yeah. I'm listening to a podcast about him right now. About Gacy? Well, it's called The Clown and the Candyman, and it's about him and uh, the pedophile ring, basically. And um, as you know, I have a special, not-so-great connection with him that makes me really nervous. So I'm glad that we got something that's like... Of him, but like not. Not of him. Not like personally his. So I know what the Funko Pop is. We actually bought the Funko Pop, um, so I sold the Funko Pop already. I gave a pretty good deal too to our buddy, uh, our local friend, our local friend Chris. Um, but this is going to be his. This is a Beckett authenticated. Kendall already has it, and it is the Thora Birch Danny with Binks. Funko Pop Spirit Halloween exclusive signed in orange there. Beckett uh, witnessed. Um, and like I said, Kendall, we bought this pop. We actually, we, were, we had a buddy that was going to get us this Funko. 
um, at a convention and Thora canceled like really close after the really close. And I messaged Lance right away and I said, Hey, I know you already closed the Thora thing. Can I get in on that signing? And he's like, actually, yeah, we're not seeing her for a couple of days. So I was able to get in still on this one, which I was lucky about because I am pretty sure she's canceled almost every other ones of her convention so far. So that's a good, okay, faker. That's a good one. Um, so I know the other item was the big thing that people were like, why is that in a spooky box? I don't know why ours is in a tube though. Unless it's like massive. But we have this it's in a tube. Beckett authenticated. And it is massive. So this is it's a nice printed really it's nice. It's a really nice printed. It's printed like on photo paper, like that's one big photo. Yeah, and it's um it's nicely done. I always forget his name. Uh it's uh Henry Thomas and um Matthew Demerit. Is that his name? I don't know. I hope you're not asking me. Henry Thomas and somebody from ET dual signed, um, Beckett authenticated. This is a really nice picture. Like this would be really cool to add like D Wallace to. <laughs> I can see what people are saying though about like that's not really a spooky. Okay, so here's my here's my thing. I don't believe that ET belongs in a core box. However, this is called the spooky box. And there are parts of ET that I, when I was a kid scared the shit out of me. What parts? The part when he is um Hiding in the stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. That was terrifying. Why? Because he's just like there. And you're just like, ugh. And then the part when he's like dying. Mm. That's really scary. And I would also go on to say that in American Horror Story, in Murder House, there is that creature. And the whole thing is the rolling the ball thing, right? Yeah. And that's what happens with E.T. That's like from E.T. Yeah. Is when you throw the ball and the ball gets thrown back. So like, that's spooky. So, I get it. I don't think it's horror. I don't know that E.T. should have been in a spooky box, but I would have... I, I think if E.T. was in a horror box, that would be different. E.T. in a spooky box, it's a stretch, but, you know... But it's printed really nice. I really like really the nice. Gacy thing because that... I haven't... I don't think we've gotten anything from that, have we? Well, we got... We have this exact thing. From who? From a different company. Well, I think it's like unique. It is. I think I think you had an option to get this signed Gacy or you had an option to get him from Leprechaun. Um, so the Gacy one is really cool. That's going to be a keeper for us. The Funko Pop I already sold. Okay, 250. I think it's like right there. Um, I think the Funko Pop, like I said, we already sold. But you got to, if you, if you break it down... 250 divided by four. This is the lowest price item and we're keeping it. This is this is maybe 40, maybe 50, if that more like 40, and we're keeping it. Um, the rest of it, like I said, this pop, I know what the price was because we bought one. So you have to go off that level. This dual signed is huge. I mean, that's really nice. Um, and then this mask is a really nice quality. I think this mask, this trick or treat mask alone, the mask unsigned is probably a 30, damn it. The mask unsigned is probably like a $30 mask, $40 mask, maybe 30. Trick or treat studio mask. So then signed, I think you're right there on value on this one. I don't think this is blown away. I blame everybody out there who got mad that the first three spooky boxes all included Tim Curry. I get the argument that you don't want Tim Curry in every box, but I mean... But don't you? When you get a Tim Curry Funko Pop that's like a $200 value, you know, $180, $200 value, that, that's a good hit in a $250 box. So y'all complained about it. We lost out on a $200, $200 value pop in a box. Um, anyway, that's it for this one. Go check them out. OC. We got a big video coming from OC for a Hollywood box. 
for uh, we actually already did Hollywood box, not Hollywood box. We have a big video coming for um, the Disney Legends box, which we spoiler, we probably pulled our biggest item we've ever pulled, mm-hmm. ever. We did. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember the no. poster? <laughs> what poster? Oh boy. Anyway, we probably pulled our biggest item we've ever pulled, and then I traded it for something for Kendall. So that's all coming up. So we'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Can't wait to hear about also. It. That video might show before this one, so if it does, don't worry about it. Because this box is old, so I might delay on getting this video out. So we'll see. But anyway, we'll see you guys next video. Maybe you should just cut that part out, if that's what you're going to do. No, I'll let them know, like, the continuity of things. Bye! Thanks for watching, everybody! Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time! Boo!